So we are going to be using these metallic alcohol inks to make these really nice pendants. Let's go. We are back. Sorry, it's been a, a while. <laughs> We're going to be playing around today with the Let's Resin metallic alcohol inks. There's 24 colours. Some of them are very similar. But we're just going to have a play around with some. But I think they're going to be quite heavy to use with peat tree. You really do have to shake these up as well. So there are lots of colours in there. We're just going to have a little play around today. On this side I'm going to be adding the ink straight away. And then on this side I'm going to wait for around 40 minutes before we add the metallics just to see if there's a difference because I do think they're going to be quite heavy. Obviously the waiting times will depend on your the temperature where you are. But we're going to be using the collab resin of course. So, let's get mixing. Okay. So, my resin is mixed. It's just degassing. So, whilst that's doing that and kind of just pick out the colours that we want. It does come with a pearl white. And what I'm going to be doing also is obviously using my normal sinker white. Which for anyone new is the Seed Deeper. Which comes in the Lex Resin Standard Alco Ink Sets. Doesn't come in this set though. But you can buy it in twin bottles. I'll put the links as always in the description box below. Quite heavily pigmented. I really do think these are going to sink, but we're going to give them a try. And the top tip is when you're piercing these lids, I just use a pin. And once you push it in, it's fine, you're quite safe. But when you're pulling it out, is when it can squirt everywhere. So once you've got the, the pin in place, just wrap some tissue or something around the top and then pull the pin out. It will save the ink spraying everywhere. And there you go. Right, I'm going to pick the rest of my colours. Okay, so I filled up the same cavities on each one. Again, sticking with my usual <laughs> favourite shapes. So, I've gone ahead and picked some of the colours. I'll just show them instead of reading them out. But you really do need to shake these up. Because they are... You can see at the bottom there. It's really stuck. I haven't used these yet, so I don't know how they're going to spread. If they're going to spread. It's new to me. And I think with that I'll go with some of the pearl white. But as I mentioned earlier. We are still going to add the sinker. To the backs. Just like that. We'll do the sinker last. So this large one. I'm going to try and get quite a bit. In there if I can. As always massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much for sticking around. So we've gone with a pearl white. A fish red. Let's go with the gold. Now this set there's, there's not so much a wide variation of colours. It's more like there's a lot of different tones of gold and silvers and, and stuff like that. So I would like to have seen some greens and blues. Please don't square everywhere. You can't really see that one. So that one was the champagne gold. reddish brown and they're very transparent aren't they might have been an idea to kind of mix them with some colors let's try the rose gold cool you really do need to shake these up very transparent i want some more color in there i'm not happy with that so the purplish red is quite a nice opaque colour. I'm not going to be able to get the same colour.
colours in the exact same way on the other mould. But it's just to see if they sink differently after waiting that, that time. Sorry, that was wine red and rose gold. Let's try a bit of silver. It's very, very different. See that the some colours just spread the others out. But the purplish red is quite nice. Maybe you can just kind of just add on top of the other colours. I'm not sure. I'm winging it. I was expecting these to be a bit more opaque. I don't know why. So that was the champagne. Wine red. And let's go with some copper gold. Okay, now for our sinker. And just give that a really good shake same as the other inks I think this is going to be very similar in comparison to my mica um, petri that I've done in the past we shall see so hopefully this should just push down those metallics and hopefully they're going to cling the white will cling to the metallics they're really sparkling away look really really sparkling away <laughs> okay so now we just wait I'm going to wait around 40 minutes and then we're going to drop into this one and just see what difference we get I really don't know what to expect but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> see you shortly. Right, so it's been about 40 minutes. You can see they've drifted in quite a bit. But I can't really see. I can see some of the pigments have sunk um, just through that little window there. You see it? So maybe I just didn't shake my inks properly. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side now. Yeah? Just shake up my colours. So the resin has started to thicken up. So we've got that stringy. This is normally where I'd stir my normal petri pieces. But we are at risk now of obviously the white possibly not possibly not sinking enough. Should we go with some gold? Must have got the gold. So I might have to go with a black background just to clear some of that negative space that we've got in the other ones. And maybe we'll judge these ones when it comes to it. We'll potentially keep these these ones clear but we'll see I'm gonna give it about another 15 minutes after dropping these before we go in and stir both trays some silver should have shaken these up before I started refilming Never mind. Let's go have a bit of gold. It would help if I shook it. <laughs> Didn't shake that one at all. Let's 
whilst I've got that gold. Might as well use it. I really am preferring the purplish red so far and the the wine red. So they're quite strong colours. Hopefully we'll have a different difference a difference between the two trays. So again with my white just dropping that evenly over the back. The white may not push down enough now the resin has thickened but we'll see. I could go in with another layer just to help it. Okay, so around another 15 minutes now, just let that white sink down if it does, before we then stir. Okay, it's now time to just give these a quick stir. And I'll just show you the one, because I've got quite a bit of background noise, and then I'll quickly show you with the black. But we're going in our normal circular stirring um, motion. <laughs> And then as mentioned, on just on this tray, I'm just going to add a black background um, just to cover up that negative space. But I'll leave the other tray as it is and just to see what they come out like. Right, I'll see you for the D-mold. Right, we're back. I speeded things up on my heat mat. Let's start with the ones that I added. No, nope, let's start over here. Makes sense to start with these ones. It's a little bit soft. What have we got? Oh, just trying to take you down to the light a bit more. We've got some blobs. Still pretty cool. Let's go with this one. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. And if you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. Wow. I'm a bit behind on comments, so I will catch up. I do apologise. Look at that. It's got some depth. It can't, that hasn't touched. Which is good. I was expecting there to be a lot more, a lot more blobbing. Oh, we've got a couple there. It's still really, really nice piece, especially with that black as well. You know what I'm like, I do love a black background. Maybe I should have did, done these ones last. <laughs> wow, some quite heavy blobbing down here. And still, you can see that sparkle from the metallics. Really nice. Right, time for these. I bet these have turned out very similar. Oh, we've got a bit more blobbing in that one. I did go in with more white though, didn't I? But I do much more, I do prefer that black background. A lot more. Got a bit of clear area there. See, these have got a bit more depth to them, which I'm surprised at. Maybe that's because I did add more white. But I don't dislike them. Again, I just do prefer that <laughs> to that. You may not. Yeah, they're very different. I was expecting them to be our normal texture that we normally get with these. But it has got some depth. 
have to try and get some macro shots for my members. The last one. Let's do a side by side comparison to the first one. Again, not the same colours. Bit of a blob there. That's still really nice. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and if you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. See you for the next one. Bye for now.